Hey, hey, y'all. I'm Kate with SaltyKatie.com, if you're new to my channel. Uh, and today I thought I'd do something a little different. In the planner community, it's super common to see, like, plan with me videos um, and stuff like that. But they're not actually plan with me videos. They're just... Like, I saw some the other day, and it was a quote-unquote plan with me video, but then the little girl, <laughs> all she did was open her planner and lay down some stickers. She didn't even, like, write in anything or, like, say, I don't know. It just put me off. I was like, seriously? Like, I wouldn't even, no. Anyway, so I thought what I'd actually do is, like, a real, actual how to plan how I plan video because um, I think this system when I use it when I use it is like super useful um so anyway yeah let's just get into it so this is a classic passion planner it is huge it's the size of a piece of paper I mean it is humongous um and i ordered this off of amazon uh i'll post you a link down below um to get to these planners they have one that's smaller if you like that i think it's like maybe it's like a six by nine but this is like eight and something by 11 and something so it is humongous anyway um <clears throat> it's not a pretty planner it's what i would call ugly planning but it's like actual plans so what I did with mine is put um, all my little month tabs on there I, I want to say I got this in like um, must have been March of last year um, which was actually when I quit my job and went full-time as a shop owner so yeah I probably needed it <laughs> oh shit um, anyway so I put out a call on Instagram and said, hey, what kind of YouTube videos do y'all want to see? And everybody said, uh, well, a lot of people said, plan with me videos, but I don't, I don't really do that. I mean, I don't know. I don't plan in such a way that it would be easy to film. Like, I'd have to plan for, plan for five minutes, film it, plan for five minutes, film it, and then cut all that crap together. But what I wanted to show you is how I would get ready for the week you know how I'm gonna like set up my plan for the weeks the months everything ahead so this planner has a year's worth of um, months weeks and then it has this pages in between for monthly reflection which I don't ain't nobody got time for that but if you wanted to do that you could like it says what or who are you especially grateful for this past month? How are you different between this past month and the month before? What was the most memorable part of this month? No, no. I don't, Mama don't have no time for that. But anyway, <clears throat> so I labeled all my months. Um, and then here's the real important part in the back. And I've labeled it schedule. Okay. So I don't know how well y'all are going to be able to see this. I guess this is as good as it's going to get. Um, so what I've done is break up a whole bunch of crap that happens real frequently. So daily, for instance, daily, I check in on my planner. This says A6 update. I don't know what that means. Uh, and I have it color coded where blue is personal and yellow is business. So then I check my mail, make the bed, respond to email, and respond to Etsy messages. So at the very minimum, I need to get that done every day. And then weekly, new releases, plan my week, meal plan, grocery, laundry, file my bills, and the studio cleanup. But you see what I mean? And then monthly, state taxes, my books, my newsletter, $2 Tuesday, which I don't really do no more. I don't, do people even still do $2 Tuesday? I don't know if, why, if they do. IG plan, Facebook plan, budget set up for work, budget set up for personal, planning day, shop calendar, uh, change out my receipt envelopes, and flee the cats. So that's my monthly list. Yearly, I've got taxes, Black Friday, go wild, cats need to go to the vet, Thanksgiving, Mother's Day tea, 4th of July party, mid-year assessment, Halloween. Those are my little parties that I host at my house every year. 
biannual, my appointment with Dr. Davidson, my P.O. box renews August and February, my car insurance renews August and February. But you get my point. Like, I've broken it out daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. And then <clears throat> another thing I found, like, really super helpful is every month um, I do a monthly planning day. And on that day, whatever day it is, I do my IG plan for the month. Let me preface this by saying, if I'm on my shit, this is what I do. It don't always happen like that, but all we can do is try, y'all. If you fall off the planning wagon, fine. It doesn't matter. Um, so, monthly planning day is IG plan, budget plan, Facebook plan, photos, uh, and plan the new releases out for the following months. And then I also have a books day every day, every month, which you could do it for just bills if you don't have a business or whatever, but do my books for the month, do my inventory for the month, and my state taxes for the month. So we've got daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, biannual, quarterly is like sales. So I guess that's like if I was going to, you know, do Travelers Limited or whatever like that. And then what my books day looks like and what my monthly planning day looks like. Does that make sense? So that... When I'm doing my plan, my planning, and I'm not, and not just for this next week, but what's coming up in the next few months, if you review this every time, then you're way more likely to kind of stay on top of what needs to happen. You know, or at least I am. So there's that. And then I've got uh, the week broken out. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, for instance, Monday for the shop is a shipping day. I almost always ship on Monday. And if you come down here to Sunday, I've got a yellow thing that says schedule a pickup so that my post office lady will come and pick up my shipment on Monday. See, if I review that every time, that's a lot more likely to happen. You know what I'm saying? And then Monday's also bedding day and vacuum day for my personal stuff. And then Tuesday, I do like a kitchen refresh and any overflow shipping, like other orders that I need to ship out that following day. Wednesday, I've got production, leather production. So if you place an order for a traveler's notebook, Wednesday rolls around, chances are I'm doing leather production that day. Um, Thursday is supposed to be a marketing day and then vacuum. I have vacuumed twice. I don't vacuum my house two days a week. I probably should though. Cause I have cats. Anyway, Friday is new release day. If you've been with me a while, um, on Friday mornings, if I'm going to have new releases, I release at 9 a.m. If y'all aren't following me on Instagram, do that. I'll put my little Instagram thingy somewhere in the vicinity. <laughs> I'll put my Instagram handle. It's at Salty Katie Co. I, I, I interact a lot on Instagram. Um, so Friday is new release, the studio cleanup, and sweep the house. And then Sunday, sweep, mop, dust, laundry, clothes, schedule pickup, and then some personal stuff. So <clears throat> today happens to be a Sunday. It's supposed to be my day off, um, but I've had a lot going on this week. Um, so that's why all my, a lot of my cleaning tasks are on the Sunday, like I would normally do that on the Sunday. But lately, I've kind of been doing my cleaning stuff on Friday, so I might move that around. Like, I might move some of my cleaning stuff up here to Friday. But do you see where this might start you off with a good place for your planning? Like, this list <clears throat> took a while to do because, um, it's to me, it's kind of hard to think through all that stuff, like, all at one time. But I just kept going back to it and kept going back to it so I could get everything. I mean, not everything is still on here, I'm sure. But <clears throat> you catch my meaning. If you're knowing... All these things are coming up. And you know, um, you could even add a section here for bills and then put the date of the month those bills are due so that when you're doing your budgeting, this would be super useful. And this also lends itself really well, this type of thing, to um, sinking funds. You know what I'm saying? If you know what's coming up, you can just get ahead of stuff like that. So this is where I come to when I'm on top of things, because I'm not always on top of things, y'all, I think it's, it's, sometimes on social media, it appears like some people have their crap together. They don't, honey. 
they do not so don't ever let anybody and their pretty planner on social media make you feel bad they're on it for that video or for that 15 second story but there's no telling what the rest of their life looks like so I just feel like I need to say that um, so when I'm on my crap and I'm doing this on the regular things flow smoother um, I'm further ahead I don't get surprised as often um, I don't fall behind you know that kind of thing so I hope that made sense and then my next page is um, each month of 2019 January February March April you can see how the months get shorter down here <laughs> and it's because I didn't count or nothing so here's the better part well the whole year of 2019 and what I put in is what I know about ahead of time most of it like my annual vet appointment my Halloween party girl doctor appointment Thanksgiving and Black Friday uh, my appointment with Dr. Davidson, my post office box, go wild. You see what I'm saying? So I'm already having a look at what's happening in 2019. Like I'm already thinking ahead. Um, that's already there. I mean, so to me, me personally anyway, this is the best system I have found uh, as far as straight up planning goes, if that makes sense. And so I'll show you some of the rest of the planner okay so this is all empty in the front and here's yeah March so that's where I started and I was using uh, I use the uh, mile liners and my color code is here I probably can't see that there we go um, <coughs> excuse me so I just let's see it I must have started it yeah it looks like the fourth week of March last year and I will say that I have used this single planner more consistently than any other planner I've ever had um, because this for me is a business thing though so so here's a week that I've really like um, I would spend you know that block out my time so that I know how much time I spent doing what and then some weeks I just straight up like there's go wild obviously I didn't well I didn't bring this thing with me this doesn't go anywhere it stays right on my desk there's my little monthly and it's all um, color-coded migraine you know it could be anything and then there's always there's this big empty space right here that you can use for um it says space of infinite possibility so i put my deliveries there um new releases and that kind of junk and then there's a um personal to-do list here and a work to-do list here which i really enjoy and there's plenty of room as y'all can see, like here's a week where I didn't use it at all. Another one. See, this is, okay, and then I'm kind of getting back to it here. But I will say that I kept picking this planner up over and over again. And I did my best when I was really using it a lot. Like, look at this month. Good grief. August, I used it a whole lot. But look here. There we go, picked it up again, picked it up again, day drinking. <laughs> and then some more blank crap. And then what I do is use these two big clips, like two of these big gold clips to clip to my months. So here's <clears throat> this week. Today is the October the 21st. So here's October, and then if you flip, there's November. So, um, I guess that would be, that's it. That's my tips for um, ha 
how to plan. Make a schedule, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, quarterly, biannual, and then I would actually really recommend a monthly planning day. When I'm doing my best, it's when I'm doing this monthly planning day. <clears throat> and then do it by day, batch. This is called batch working. Monthly, wait, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I hope that makes sense. I will leave the link to the passion pan this passion planner down below. I had to purchase a, a undated one most recently, like I just put the order through today. Um, I could not find, you can get the dated one on Amazon that's a little smaller, but you can't get the big dated one right now. Um, so I got an undated, which is fine. I mean, I'm just going to go with it, but I'm going to transfer this same thing to it because I'm already getting ready for 2019 here. So <clears throat> anyway, I, I'm hoping I made sense. Um, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below or um, I'm gonna post about this on Instagram. Drop your questions on Instagram. I'm on Instagram constantly, constantly, constantly. Um, oh, well, you know what I should probably do? I should probably show y'all right quick. Where's my week? Okay, so I would start here. Like today is supposed to be my day off. I cleaned up the office already. I printed inserts. Like here's Monday. Tomorrow's production and shipping. I'm shipping um, these little holographic uh, planner, leather planner inserts. Tuesday, production, shipping. See, and so I would just flip back and forth. What am I supposed to do on Tuesday? Oh, okay, I need to do my kitchen refresh on Tuesday. And then Thursday's marketing day. Okay, so, oh, that means I need to get on IG. I need mean, blah, 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 blah. You see what I'm saying? I hope this makes sense because I feel like I'm rambling a little bit. It's early Sunday morning. You'll have to just forgive me. Anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, come find me on Instagram. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Um, yeah, so I want to say thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you're having an awesome week or weekend. I um, hope to get this edited and uploaded pretty quickly. And then right after this, I'm going to film a flip through of uh, my A6 rings. So you can kind of see how I combine the two. All right. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you again real soon. Bye.